Welcome back to The Loft. Now combining technology and the human spirit has the ability to connect those far and wide, bringing us together to share meaningful moments with friends and family. Thanks to Vodacom Home, we can do just that. In today's Masterclass Cook Along, we have two of our viewers joining us virtually from their homes to join in on the cooking fun. Now we're back in the kitchen with Esther Milan, where we'll be making scrumptious crammed lamb liver schnitzels. <laughs> and of course, we're going to be pairing it with a delicious tomato salsa. But first, let's say hello to our viewers who will be joining us from home in our kitchen. Hey, ladies. Hi. My name is Savannah, and I am from the beautiful mother city, Cape Town. Hi, Pali. My name is Ayabulala Mbunyuza, and I'm calling from Cape Town in Mowbray. Super cute. I mean, our viewers are looking absolutely delicious. I love the fact that we're all rocking red lips, except for Utumza. What happened? I, I didn't get the memo. I don't know why you did me oh. like this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but one thing that we're making sure everyone is clued up on in the kitchen is when it comes to making a delicious crumbed lamb liver schnitzel with a tomato salsa. So what do we need? Okay, so for the schnitzels, we need the lamb liver. We need some flour that we're going to coat it in, um, eggs, milk and then crumbs. Be beautiful. I, I want to say delicious because it's beautiful <laughs> and delicious. And on my side, I'm going to be whipping up that tomato salsa. Mm. It sounds delicious. I mean, minangitsu shatin. Is a tomato salsa like a shatin? Basically, Palisa, all we're doing in the world is that we make the same thing, mm. we give it our own trademark, our own name, and then it's literally the same thing. But for your salsa that mm. I'm making, <laughs> that you're making, I'm going to be chopping up the tomatoes. I accept it. <laughs> Tomatoes, onions, guys, red onions. <laughs> That's how much you're looking at. You don't even want to deal with this onion, <laughs> girl. And then some lemon that I'm going to be juicing and zesting that's going to be coming to you and that's all going to come together. I'm already loving the flavor mm. and the concept that you have here because it's the liver that's going to be nice and mellow and the tartness of that. Yes, it's going to break through that. Yes. Awesome. Okay, so Esther, let's get cooking. Let's start straight away, which mm. brings us to question number one. Now, before we get started on this Masterclass Cook Along, Ayabulela, I believe you've got a question for Esther. What's your question? Hi, Esther. My question for today is, um, with the liver, does it have to be lamb liver or any kind of liver? And besides liver, can we use any other type of meat? I love that question coming yeah. from Ayabulela because we were talking about the mm. off cuts of meat, the types of meat that aren't celebrated as much. Uh, yes. So can we whip it up and change the meat? Of course, we can. Um, you can even use ox liver. You can, as you said, chicken liver will work as well. It's obviously just going to be small little <laughs> crafts and livers then. Um, you can use any meat if you want to. Like um, you can use pork, you can use beef. Mm. Um, you can even use game. Mm. You can use like kudu liver, that will be fantastic. Wow. Or things like that, so go wild. <laughs> okay, Ayamulele, it seems as if the sky is the limit, honey. Go wild when it comes to your meat, honey. <laughs> I've started chopping up my onions here, and I think the, the red onion is a little bit more forgiving, Balesa, when mm. it comes to those fumes. Uh, maybe I spoke too soon because it's happening again. But anyway... <laughs> Are you tearing up? <laughs> Esther, do you have any tricks on how to chop your onion and make sure you don't cry? Uh, contact lenses. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm joking. Well, if you don't have that, um, um, you can put the onions in the fridge. That mm -hmm. also helps. Um, Otherwise, just keep it tissue handy. The reason why I'm so emotional, one, it's Mother's Day very soon. Mm. And two, I'm very, like, I can't stop celebrating the fact that my darling Palace has a softer nominee. Palace, I, I can't get over it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, where's Tony going with this? <laughs> I mean, I think from our Tuesday show, we're keeping the <laughs> celebrations going, keeping it going. But you know what? Um, I'm going to be one of those annoying people who say, <laughs> I couldn't have done it without you. But that's so true. I mean, I wouldn't be the presenter I am if it wasn't for the team, if it wasn't for me being able to learn and experience when it comes to not only the kitchen, but interviews that we sit on the couch. So this is essentially part of the process. Uh, saft and all. <laughs> <laughs> Tears of joy indeed. Tears of joy indeed, Balissa. So I've chopped up the onions here. Uh, and I'm going to get started with the, the rest of the salsa. But I just want to find out, Esther, what other uh, ingredients would we use or put into the salsa if we'd wanted to? Uh, well, fresh herbs always uh, goes well with that. Um, you can even put um, a bit of chili in it, garlic, um, season it, obviously. Mm -hmm. And then um, you can put like roasted cumin seeds, oh. roasted coriander. That's delicious as well. Okay, it's looking pretty good when it comes to the tomato salsa. I'm well on my way and chopping it up. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm just making sure that I leave them Flour. in quarters. Um, I first take the baby tomato, put it, chop it in half, and then I chop it in another half, and that should be <laughs> bite-sized enough, I think. Um, and I think that, Dumi, you did such a good job as well with the onions, making sure that we're not struggling with mm -hmm. the salsa, that we're able to eat it and enjoy it bite by bite, bit by bit. <laughs> so I'm just gonna flour it now, and then after that, I'm going to uh, whisk together the egg. Um, and milk and then dip it in there. Now I've seen schnitzels put together almost every type of way from chicken schnitzel to pork schnitzel but it's quite interesting here making a lamb liver schnitzel and you've decided to crumb it. I mean I've, I always know schnitzels are crumbed which mm. brings me to Savannah's question. Savannah what's your question? For the liver I would like to know do you have to fry it with the crumbs or can you do it without the crumbs as well? Um, of course you can do it without the crumb. Um, you can even, um, if you want, if you don't want like a gluten uh, crumb, you can use uh, sunflower seeds, ground that, even coat it in the sunflower seeds, and that's delicious as well. Okay, Savannah, so do you feel like you've got a good hold on how to prepare this and how to fry it up? Yes, definitely. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. I love the fact here that we're being able to connect with our viewers all the way here in our kitchen in their homes. We'd be able to share in the tips and the tricks when it comes to cooking, making it uh, that much more fun, that much more educational, and of course, wonderful. Connecting us far and wide. <laughs> True, Balissa. And the one thing I also love about this recipe is a lot of people aren't really fans of liver. I mean, it took me a while to get in, to fall in love with liver yeah, because that's true. it was not always prepared the right way. And and I think mm. this way over here gives you uh, an option on how to prepare mm. it and still enjoy the tastiness of the liver, but then that nice crumb on the outside, it sort of uh, misdirects your attention yeah. from the actual it liver on the inside. And I mean, you don't see liver. True. Mm. You see like this crumbed piece of meat mm. and you're like, yeah, you just go for it. But <laughs> I do love myself a good liver though, um, but I also like my liver not cooked all the way True. through. Mm. Is that possible with this recipe? Yes, of course. Um, it actually, if you overcook it, it becomes too dry. Mm. So yes, just keep an eye on it while you're cooking. We're celebrating our mothers uh, today on the show. And I think that everyone in the entire country around is celebrating their moms too, from the start of the week up until Sunday. Now, when we do speak about moms, it doesn't have to be a biological mother. It mm. can be someone who is a mom-like figure to you. Someone that you cherish, a maternal figure. And I think that we all have those in our household. I love that. <laughs> Now my tomato salsa is quite well on its way. I've chopped up the tomato, I've chopped up the onion. Can I put my olive oil now and can I get that um, lemon juice? Oh, yes. Lemon juice from Dumi. There you go. And as I am putting this together, this tomato salsa, super simple, I believe Ayabulela has another question for us. So I know your 30 scrumptious uh, <laughs> meals go very well with your acidic uh, side. Mm. But besides your salsas and your uh, green salads, is there any other side that I could make with my schnitzel? Um, yes, you can, um, like coleslaw for instance, but to add a bit of tang, you can even use Granny Smith apple chopped up. That goes beautifully with schnitzels as well. But what I do love, okay. Ayabulela, about this delicious tomato salsa, it adds the freshness to the dish, elevating it mm. a bit. So I would like to encourage you to try it out at home. And if you want to find out where you can get those recipe and ingredients lists, just head over to our Afternoon Express website and we've detailed everything for you. I love the fact that though our crumbed lamb liver schnitzel mm. came together in a matter of minutes. Mm. They've browned all the way out and I'm almost certain that it's time to get dishes. Yes, these thin ones are definitely cooked. We can take them out. Yeah. Just gonna put it here. Make sure that excess oil is off the yes. schnitzel. And then Dumi, just on the side there, um, are you going to be putting your tomato salsa on the top of the livers? I will. Um, however, if you're going to be serving this that's going to be enjoyed a bit later, I would suggest don't put the salsa on the top because it will force the, the crumb, it will make the crumb go soggy and we don't want there that. There you but go. Because we're about to <laughs> indulge. Oh yeah, I didn't think of a soggy crumb. No, yeah. we don't want that. Okay, mm. so it's all about the balancing of textures as well. Correct. Well, from Correct. us here in the kitchen, thank you so much. Uh, I know she doesn't want to be called chef, but when you put something <laughs> like this together, I can't help but call you Chef Esther. Thank you so much for joining us, ladies at home. Goodbye. Bye. 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 
Mwah, our absolute superstars. Now I love that we can come together to share moments like these in the kitchen with our viewers, thanks to Vodacom Home. Vodacom is celebrating what the human spirit can achieve when combined with technology, shaping the future and the way we connect with friends and family, opening a world of opportunities. Visit Vodacom Home for amazing home internet deals, including super fast fiber, plug and play LTE, or 5G. Now show your mom how sweet you think she is by getting the family to make her this easy red velvet beetroot cupcake recipe. That's coming up next. When your family connects, we go further together. Vodacom.